Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Doremi Fantasy Milan no Doki Doki Daibuken, aka Doremi Fantasy Milan's Quest. As you can see, I'm back, and I am not working with that crappy netbook anymore. It just gave me so many headaches from trying to record LP entries. So, yeah, we are now at part six finally. And this is the last area with the star in the concert hall, so let's go ahead and take care of this already. And this is looking really good right now. I'm amazed. When I get that stuff, just so I can see I have the notes for it. And two things here. To the left is the mouse that goes in and out of the little porthole there that acts on the platform and to the right are the little mouse traps and if you stand on the wooden part you're going to get into a little clap trap as soon as you basically stand on it and yeah just just float in between it with the fluffy shoes you'll be glad you did and go ahead and get the clothes just float down here Get the bowling ball, take care of these rats. We got another one that we can use here. Two bowling rolls in a row. Man. And some more clothes you can need. Just drop straight down from the right of that of that block. And come on, there we go. Okay. I'm amazed I did not get hit all those times. And we're about to reach a little fork in the road of some sort here. And this is it. You want to take the top path, because that will lead to the star for this level. And yes, you can drop down here and go back to the top path. That leads to the goal, but... You don't want to go there. You also miss your chance at the star. Instead, you want to go to the top and take that door with the uh, diamond pip on it, and... Continue on from there. And you want to drop to the down and then go to the left from this point. Oh, I wish I collected those faster. I would have gotten even more coins. And just keep going to the left. Use the push blocks if you need to. And you can finally just get the star just by leaping off the top of that mouse's head. There you go. All five stars for Concert Hall. I don't know about you, but I'm really happy to be doing this again. <laughs> really happy. Especially since I've got only like all of four people interested. Better than nothing. And wow, slow down right there. And we gotta go up here in order to make it to the goal. Actually, yeah, actually, I can show you this room, too. Even though it leads to basically nothing. Just some Japanese symbols. If anyone knows what this means, go ahead and leave a comment. Because I don't see myself looking up what it is, and all you get is just one darn note. That's all. Just the one note. Destroy everything. You'll, that's all you'll get. And I love how the uh, volume lowers when you go inside a room. Like it tells you, hey, this is not part of the main area. Go back. And we are out of here finally. And here is the house. Here's the musician for this level. And. Yeah, I can picture this guy speaking with a little German accent because of the accordion. I think the hair has something to do with it, too. Looks very European. Anyway, he goes ahead and dispels the accordion for us. And it allows us to swim, which we'll definitely need for the next world. So with that in mind, we thank the man, and then we go into the Concert Hall dungeon. This is the third dungeon of the game, and 
here's you're gonna see how it works really quickly like right now actually when you hit the black switch the light goes off when you hit the gold switch it turns back on you want to make sure you hit at least just the gold switches and you got little microphones for enemies there you got got these little sparks the microphones attack you with the word wow speaking of wow you got little tambourine platforms here wow And uh, speak, speaking of, also speaking of wow, you can actually take care of these sparks just like that. Just attack them while they're on a destroyable block, and you'll be able to get rid of them just like that. And there's the key, but we're going to have to do a few things in order to get to it. And I do not want to jump on that switch. I do want to jump on that one though. And thankfully, since I have power-ups, I can get to this thing very, very easily and take care of another spark while I'm at it. Now, to make our way to the exit. You can reset one up, but I don't really feel like doing it. Although, let me see if I can actually try it. Yeah, you're gonna have to go through X just to hit, just to grab it, so I'm not even gonna bother. And the X is right here. Not particularly a challenging dungeon there, and now we have the third boss, the card man. And he's got some interesting music for his level. Yeah, you want to stay at least to the left side or the right. And if he gets near you, he'll throw two cards. Just send one of them towards him just by blowing a bubble at it, and then... Ah! Sometimes you can jump on his head, just like that. Yeah, anyway, just send, just blow a bubble the card, and you can just send it at him. And when he does that attack, try to land squarely on his head. Or at least on on his hats, so that way you can actually do some real damage to him. He's got a third attack. I wish he'd show it off. Oh, there it is. He throws uh, four roses that turn that basically turn the fire, and you can hit him in the legs as he throws his hat in around in the circle. Just stay to the left or the right side, and neither attack will hurt you. Ah, I want to say send that to the left. Didn't really try hard enough right there. But at least I can still hit him this way. And this was a really easy boss, just as long as you know what to do. And he's basically embarrassed that we beat him. With the bubble blower. So he just disappears and then... A trumpet comes out of his hat. That is the third cursed instrument. And we are now done with stage three. So yeah, I'm running with some pretty good specs right now. Four gigs, 500 gigabytes of hard drive space. Yeah, I'm... I'm actually pretty happy about that. I just hope that the uh, video does okay when I uh, finalize it. Anyway, we're at Fairy Village, World 4. Let's look at the hints. Hmm? Ah! Is Cirrus and Celea? I don't know who they are either. And they basically give us some hints. We have the surfboard, which we'll see in one of the later stages. Yeah, it's the fourth one. It's the fourth level. And I hit it for the boss, amazingly. If you get hit by the harsh, you just move the D-pad around and just press Y and B repeatedly. And it also works if you are caught in a bubble, which you'll see later on. You know, just little underwater air bubbles that can actually trap you. They're not like the air bubbles in Sonic the Hedgehog games that give you oxygen. 
We don't really have an oxygen meter in this game. And... Here we go. Area 1. First level. Basically, you, wanna... you don't want to destroy those blocks just yet, because that's how you're going to be able to get those notes. And you want to be careful of these purple demons, because... It, not only can their spears go a long way, but they also drop as they go go a far enough distance. And we're gonna have to find another way to get to that note. And thankfully, it's not very far away. Just go right here, go through the acorns that are the blocks for this world, and there you go. There's the first star of World 4 Fairy Village. Want to avoid those cactuses as well. You've got fish swimming around. You've got the little yellow demons and inner tombs that just don't really seem to do much. And you got little fish statues for carry the waterfall. They can actually shoot like powerful streams of water that can knock you off. And you want to be careful with that too. The water just coming down from the pipes because they can actually send you plummeting your death. And more invincibility. Just extend it for a couple more seconds. I might as well go ahead and get it. It's not like... Yeah, I might as well go ahead and just get those notes. It's not like I'm going to be able to use the invincibility for anything. And now we have just of water. They go up and down, and thankfully you want to use them when they go up. And now it's time for another bonus area. A lot of notes here if you collect them in the fastest time possible. And once again, invincibility I can't use, because, you know just because of where I'm at. And we got everything we need here, so let's go ahead and go for the goal. And that's it. That's basically the first part of Fairy Village. Might as well go ahead and call it a video. Join me next time where we go through more Fairy Village, eventually meet the boss Elena, which is already on the other side of the village. And see what else is in this mad, 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 mad world of Doremi Fantasy. So until then, this is Prince Watercrest. Take care, stay safe.